Hello Year 6 and welcome to Tuesday's maths lesson. So we're carrying on with time today and we are carrying on with analogue analog clocks. Um, so yesterday we did reading the time, today we are doing drawing the time. So you, you will see on your sheets, on all of them, you've been given the time in words and you've got some blank clock faces. So you've just got to put that time on your clock face. Okay, so we'll go through a few together and then you should know exactly what you're doing for all the mild, medium and the hot. So on the mild sheet then, very similar to yesterday, it starts with just o'clock and half past. So we'll have a look at those first. So if you're doing eight o'clock, like this one asks, you need to do a shorthand for your hour. So I'm gonna point it to eight and my long hand for my minutes, which is going to go to 12, okay? So remember when it's o'clock, the minute hand is always on 12, okay? So for this one, then it asks for half past two. So remember when we do half past, we put our minute hand on the six and then my hour hand pointing to the two. Now remember, your hour hand has got to be smaller than your minute hand. If they are about the same size, then it won't be very clear. So just make sure it's really obvious that your hour hand is shorter, okay? On your medium sheet then, it moves on and you've got quarter past and quarter two, okay? So quarter past then is at the three, isn't it? So we need our minute hand pointing to the three and it's quarter past 12. So my hour hand needs to be pointing to the 12, okay? Quarter two, seven then. Quarter two is the nine, isn't it? So we need minute hand pointing to the nine and we're going quarter two, seven so we need our uh, our sorry our hour hand pointing to the seven okay then on the hot sheet then it moves on to just to the nearest five minutes so remember what we said yesterday you can draw this on if you want to but it goes round in the fives okay and then remember after half past it goes we start counting backwards don't we so we do 25 to 22, quarter two, 10 to, and five to. So you can draw those on to help you. So 10 past four then, so 10 past is here. Remember, if we're doing past, it's gonna be on this side. If we're doing two, it's gonna be on that side. So 10 past then, we're gonna do long hand for our minute hand pointing to the, the 10. And my short hand for my hour is gonna be on the four. So we've got 10 past four, okay? So for this one then, it's 25 past. So 25 is down here, isn't it, where the five is? So that's going to be my minute hand and we're doing 25 past nine. So my short hand, my hour hand is gonna to point to the nine, okay? We'll just do a couple more. So these are two. So five, two, we've got, remember we count backwards. So 25, 20, 15, 10, five. So five's up here. So five, two, 10, yeah? I've got my minute hand on five two and my hour hand on 10 and then 20 to 12. Remember, count backwards if you're not sure. So we've got 30, 25, 20. So that's 22, 12, okay? So just take your time, read it really, really carefully. And if it helps you, write round your five times table and that should give you a good idea. 